getting the camper registered has been a nightmare. Um, so it was not registered when I got it, which if you're buying a camper, they have license plates. Um, I didn't really think about that. I didn't check it. I didn't look at it. I didn't think about the fact that I needed to switch it to my name. Um, so I moved to Durango and then, and parked it on the street. And then after a couple days, I had tickets and I was like, what the hell? What is this for? Expired registration. And not just like recently expired, expired in May. Um, it is November. I moved here in October. Um, so I got four tickets. Luckily they were $25 each. So like all in all a hundred dollars, but that is how much I spend a month on groceries. Um, so that sucked. That was really annoying. Um, and then I also just woke up like 10 minutes ago. Excuse me. I did not. I showered last night and I don't brush my hair normally, but usually the day after I shower, I brush it because it looks like this. Um, yeah. So, uh, got four tickets. <sighs> Finally had time to take it into the DMV. Um, there's not a VIN number on it because it's from 1973. The VIN number has been completely scratched off. So I have to get VIN authentication, which means I need to take it to the sheriff's office. They'll give me a VIN, they'll, you know, check it and then assign me a VIN number. Um, but, <laughs> but the only appointment was for December 8th. Uh, my temporary registration that I paid like over $300 for expired on November 23rd. Um, so I basically have this chunk of time that I can't get a longer registration. They don't do that. But I also am now getting tickets again. I got my first ticket again last night for expired registration. So I just went and backed up to my camper, got it on and the second try, second try. Last time it took me like 10 to get my hitch onto the coupler. Um, and I'm gonna drive around, there's a spot deeper in my neighborhood because the cop lives on this street. Um, I live on the top of the street, he lives all the way on the bottom. So I think he drives by like to get to the main road or whatever. Um, I am going to hide my camper and hope that I don't get tickets. I have six days before my appointment. So um, let's do it. super rusted and this little bolt is what holds them on as my safety tapes. So I'm gonna replace the coupler um, because it, it doesn't lock properly and that scares me. I don't like it. Um, I have to hammer it down. Um, so I'm gonna replace the coupler while we're at it. We're gonna get new safety chains. Um, maybe new wiring because this isn't connected, which I think is one of my brake lights. Um, and it just looks super sus. Um, but take these rusty chains off. There's also like, like what, what is this? What is that for? Try to screw this off. It doesn't come off. I have no idea. Self before it's over, every 
So we got home from Salt Lake yesterday. Um, I went, well, my hair is a mess. I went to celebrate my 26th birthday with all my friends and snowboard a little bit. Um, and before I left, the camper registration is still expired. I was supposed to have my appointment tomorrow to finally get the VIN authenticated. Um, I got snowed in, a little delayed in Salt Lake, and I was gonna miss my appointment. So I ended up coming home yesterday afternoon, and I'm like, okay, let's go check on Clementine, and then I was gonna go join the new climbing gym that just opened up. So excited, we had a great weekend in Salt Lake. Um, and I go to check on Clementine and I turn the corner and she's not there. <laughs> and I immediately called my mom because she knows everything. And I was just like, oh my God, how do I find out where she is? How do I track her down? Um, and I was like, okay, I feel like if someone stole her, like the, the chucks for the wheel, blockage I don't know what they're called um I feel like they would just be like on the side of the road like I feel like there would have been carnage basically from it or like the lock cut off and like thrown aside um but it looked clean and I was like oh god someone towed her um even though there's a lock on it so I called the non-emergency police department and they told me who towed her and I asked why and they said oh we don't know you're gonna have to ask the towing company um called the towing company and they said I had to wait till 9 a.m this morning to figure it out 9 a.m I called um they have her six hundred and forty dollars to get her back they told me they couldn't tell me why she was towed so I called the police again um, left a message, but it sounds like from the receptionist, she said that she thinks the city or ordinance is now, if it doesn't move every 24 hours, it can be considered abandoned. 24 hours. So I still, the registration is still expired. Now our appointment's on Tuesday. Um, and I am exhausted. <laughs> I am so exhausted, but <laughs> we got her. She's alive, she didn't get stolen. Um, the guy that I was just talking to on the phone was so nice, right, Indy? Indy is gonna try to close. This is how big my dog is, by the way. He weighs 100 pounds. Indy, sit down. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna go get her. We're on our way right now, yeah. And then we're just gonna hope, because there's also $100 worth of tickets um, from the registration being expired when I got back. Um, I knew I had one and I went to pay it and online there was two more. Um, so yeah, technically we done fucked up and I probably shouldn't have moved her to the street that I moved her. I bet you someone called her in and was like, Hey, someone put this camper here, um, versus where she was. I probably would have gotten more expired registration tickets, but she wouldn't have gotten towed. Um, so kind of shitty. Then now I've spent almost $1,000, which is more money than I had planned on spending the entire reno <laughs> renovation on just legal work and registration. But let's go get her. This is more money than I'll probably ever hold ever again in my life. We got her back. Um, unfortunately, this whole thing was down. <laughs> it was up when I when it got towed. It's down when I came and got it. So I'm a little worried that they broke the latches, but I was able to reconnect them. This unfortunately is broken, so need to fix that. Everything else looks pretty. 
pretty solid. Um, the sheriffs came out to me to do the VIN authentication because there is ice on the roads and I'm a little baby and I got scared um, and I did not want to drive on icy roads because I don't have snow tires on this. I'm gonna pop her into storage for the next two months and just like give myself a mental break um, because it's way too cold. Like I am so cold right now um, and I can't currently afford to drive out to California because that's like $1,000 in gas money probably to get out to my sister's house. And then back, $2,000. Um, so we're going to pop her into storage for at least a month, give myself a break, time to plan, um, and then go from there. I'm so excited to make this into a home. Um, I'm realizing now that until I feel more comfortable, I mean, I think she needs snow tires. Um and definitely needs a new coupler. That's my biggest fear, honestly, on the snow is um, having it slip off. And I don't trust the safety chains. And I just have a lot. I did not sleep last night. I have so much anxiety. Um, so I'm going to ask the owners of the climbing gym if I can keep her here for a couple more days um, and then pop her down into storage. I do have to go get it weighed to be able to get the VIN authentication um unfortunately so i do have to drive it and obviously i have to drive it to storage but there's uh it there's fresh snow that you can't see out there um i'm hoping in a couple of days it will melt out and i'll be able to get that all done I got a license plate. I got a assigned identification number. I am finally done with this and I'm going to take the trailer into storage for the next few months. I got a license plate and an authenticated VIN number that I need to um, rivet onto my car. Um, and to celebrate, I stopped at Walmart. Not because I wanted to go to Walmart, I actually needed an RV lock and it's right across the street ooh, from where my RV is parked. Um, so I went to Walmart and they were out of RV locks. So I bought things that I actually really need. Um, first off, screwdrivers so that I can put the license plate on. Um, a measuring tape so that I can measure the dimensions of the bathroom so that I can plan. A towing mirror. Um, I just have normal mirrors on the car. This is a um, a Pathfinder, a Nissan Pathfinder. Um, and when I tow, I can't see behind my trailer. It's super dangerous. Um, at night, I judge based off of people's lights. And during the day, I judge off of their shadows. Um, super sketch. And then, wheel chocks. So right now I have um, a rock under one and a piece of wood under the other. Um, we're official. It took me eight tries, but I backed it up. This is the first time I've ever backed up a camper. Um, you can see my carnage right here of figuring it out. I called my friend Shelby, um, who runs a business called Cactus Pine, and she lives in her camper with her dog Huckleberry. Um, luckily, I had all of this room, like so much room, but there is snow. <laughs> so the camper was like sliding out and there was a couple times that I was like, oh, I feel like I'm too close to the other campers. And I freaked out a little bit, but um, we got her in. She has the new wheel chucks under um, and this is where she'll be for the next few months. <laughs> <laughs> 